Hey Platter Talk friends, I'm Scott from Platter Talk and today we're making a white soda pound cake and our recipe calls for a uh, greased and floured bundt pan and um, you may be asking yourself what is greasing and flouring a pan because I've never done that before. So I want to just take a couple seconds of your day to kind of show you uh, and go old school here and do a, a greasing and flouring of a pan. So um, you're going to want to use one of a couple things. You're going to either want to use um, a butter, a hard butter. It needs to be cold because you want it to uh, stick to the sides of the pan and easily spread. You can use um, like a, a, a grease, like a Crisco, like a hard um, Crisco, um, or you can use um, a spray if you have a spray instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of extra flavor using butter. And so I'm just going to take the butter and I'm going to come around the pan and I'm going to try to get into all of my nooks and crannies here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of put in a layer here and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. And I'm really greasing this up, but I'm going to get it in here and then I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to kind of move it around. Now, if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, then you may wanna use one of those spray grease products. Or you can use a paper towel. So you put it in there and then you take the paper towel and then you use the paper towel to, uh, to spread it around and then your hands don't get as dirty. But hey, you know what I say? If you're cooking, you better walk away with something dirty. That's either your shirt, your pants, or your hands. So you just want to kind of get in there because again, this is what's going to release your cake when it's all done. So. This is pretty easy peasy, right? That's that's your greasing part, but you say to yourself, but Scott, now we need to flour it. What the heck? Great question, I'm glad that you asked. So once I'm satisfied with that, and I wanna make sure that I have this all around, because again, I want this to release when it's all done, I'm going then to wipe my hand off a little bit, and I'm gonna take some flour. And you're going to just put your flour in here, and then you're just going to knock this around. So you're basically just coating the sides of your pan. And this gets a little messy, no big deal. Again, not rocket science, but you are cooking. So, and you just wanna kinda of get this coated all the way around all your sides and tap it through. And just, again, making sure that my center is coated. When I'm happy with everything being, having a coat, notice I'm just tapping it to release the excess flour and I'm just going to dump the excess flour into just a bowl. And easy peasy, there you go, old school, greased and floured a pan. So I'd say um, give it a try, pretty easy. Scott from Platter Talk, thanks for joining us today and we'll, we'll see you soon. Happy recipes, everybody.